this is one of those few cases where if you got this wrong, I'm just going to say don't worry about it. Brush it off. Shake it off. Uh, not much you can do. It's just bad luck. Um, sometimes with these questions that test diction, we really just need to kind of sound, listen to the sound and pick what sounds best. But there will be cases where you're not going to hear it really well and, and you know, there's not much you can do. So let me just read it. This version of events persisted, and the legend became that Wells' broadcast had as many as 12 million people fearing that Martians had invaded Earth. Why? I, it's just kind of what it is. Um, we can maybe get a little clever here. So, B is probably wrong for most of you because of the, the word that we think is definitely inferior to the word who. Right? We're talking about people. seems more logical that we would use the word who. That's just a word we associate with people. Um, to fear hopefully sounds wrong. Um, it's about, again, it's about as good as I can get. Like, to me, it sounds really bad. I mean, I don't know. Maybe to you it sounded good. I have no idea. Um, the only thing that you might be able to do is kind of cut it down a little bit and like narrow your focus is just this like set of words and see if maybe just focusing on that set can help you hear the right thing. Um, the broadcast had as many as 12 million people fearing that Martians had invaded. Like, if we shorten it to shorten it to that, maybe that's better. Um, I really don't know here, guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't think that this makes a lot of sense. It's not a logical thing. It's kind of just like this is why I categorize some questions as diction questions. That just means that it doesn't follow a nice rule. It isn't really about the vocabulary meaning of the words. It's just in English. Sometimes we say certain things because we say them. And I think that this is one of those cases. And honestly, if you had written choice A in your own essay, I would never have noticed. If, if you put that and I was grading your essay, I would have never said anything about it. I would have never noticed. Um, C is definitely better. It's definitely the right thing to say. But it goes to show, like, the only reason I think I noticed that is the fact that I have those options and I have to think about it. If I didn't have to think about it, I would never notice that A is wrong. So these happen. Um, the best you can do on the writing section is study the stuff that is predictable. Things like grammar rules, punctuation, consistency rules. Um, you can learn how the SAT deals with transitions and vocabulary and uh, prefers shorter choices. And you can make sure that whenever there's an ideas question, you are using dumb summaries and um, you know following the instructions in the question. So that way you can lock in you know, 40 questions worth of points. Things that are predictable, things that are set in stone if you know the rules. And then on this stuff, you roll the dice and hopefully it works out. But even still, if you got 40 out of 44 questions, you'd have an awesome score. This is the kind of stuff you can't really predict. You just have to, you know, do the best you can in the moment. It's the best I can do.